think about how crazy it is that last week we seen the Jets go against the Broncos and they lost. And we said, oh, that was a terrible game. It was an awful game. The Jets didn't have it going on offense. Aaron Rodgers looked bad on offense. It was a clear miscommunication. And, you know, it won't happen again. Bad game. Bad game. That's all. Won't happen. They'll pick it up against the Vikings in London. Then... The week, the following week against the Vikings, they got progressively worse as the game went on. And they got worse than what we've seen in the matchup against the Broncos. Like, I genuinely did not think it could get worse than what we've seen in the matchup against the Broncos. They only had nine points against the Broncos matchup last week. And this time, they scored. They got 17 points, but it was still just an ugly performance. And you got to give a lot of this credit to Aaron Rodgers, bro. Look, before anybody say I'm hating on him, I want Aaron Rodgers to be great. I want Aaron Rodgers to go out here, be 40 years old, and still dime up the rock and still win ball games and pretty much show Brady, hey, I'm not the only one that can do this. I'm 40. I can ball out too. But damn it, this is not what we've been seeing. This is tragic right here from what we're watching with Aaron Rodgers. In this game against the Vikings, Aaron Rodgers was 29 for 54 of passing. He threw three interceptions. He was sacked three times, and he had a quarterback rating of 42. 42. Aaron Rodgers did not look good. And you know, the part that really hurt me most about watching Aaron Rodgers play bad like this, throw these bad passes, throw multiple interceptions, was the fact that I watched Aaron Rodgers with my own eyes. I watched him throw multiple bad passes and then look over at the rest at the rest as if they did something wrong. (laughs) That was the part that really blew my mind. He out here throwing bad passes. That, that's not to his receiver and over their head behind him and all of that. And then looking at the ref for a flag. What, what kind of sense does that make? If you look at the last play of that game, that the one that, that pretty much sealed it, it was the interception from the Vikings. And kudos to the Vikings because they did their thing. I want to give credit to them. They balled out. If you look at the last play, it was an interception. And Aaron Rodgers didn't even give his receiver a chance on the jump ball. He literally put the ball behind him, and the receiver had no chance in hell to possibly grab the ball. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. So I give Aaron Rodgers all of his hell because it's deserved right now. It's not because I'm trying to hate on him or anything. I'm just calling him out because it's needed. It's, it has to be said, bro. I wouldn't be right. I wouldn't do my job if I didn't acknowledge this awful performance from Aaron Rodgers. And the part... That really trips me out. I don't care how big of an Aaron Rodgers fan you are. I've seen a statistic. I've seen a stat, and it just blew my mind. It's the fact that when we look at last year with Zach Wilson on the New York Jets, so many people hated Zach Wilson all the way in week five. They were like, no, we hate him. We can't stand him. You know, Zach Wilson is not that guy. Only if we had Aaron Rodgers. Only if this was the only, 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 only. That's all we kept hearing is, man, the Jets need Aaron Rodgers. And they would probably be this. They would be that. They would, they, whatever. All of that stuff. But the thing is, through week one through five last year, Zach Wilson got the New York Jets 93 touchdown points. He scored 93 points with that offense. The New York Jets as a whole had 93 points. Correction. So the New York Jets last year with Zach Wilson, a quarterback that they despised, the fans hated him, got death threats, was treated poorly by Jets fans and everyone who is analyzing the NFL. Zach Wilson in the New York Jets scored 93 points last year. Aaron Rodgers up to the same point week one through week five in the New York Jets only has 93 points this year so far. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. So the same energy y'all have for Zach Wilson, y'all need to have that same exact energy for Zach or or, uh, for Aaron Rodgers right now because he's not looking good. He's not doing anything special for the New York Jets that y'all talked about so much last year. It's ridiculous. I know y'all seen Aaron Rodgers crawling around on the floor, too. That was a damn shame, bro. And the man ain't never looked over 40 in his life. He looked, he showed every bit of that age 40 on the sideline when he was crawling around. Oh, my gosh. It was just, it was nasty. It was nasty. It clearly showed, hey, I don't know. It showed the difference of what Brady did for his body compared to what Aaron Rodgers was doing. Because, man, oh, man. When you think of a 40-year-old playing football in the NFL, that's how Aaron Rodgers looked on his sideline. It's like, a four, yeah, he's 40, all right. Yeah, damn, he, that dude definitely 40. If I had to pick somebody, that one's 40. If I don't know nothing about football and I had to choose somebody who, who was 40 years old, 
It's definitely that dude right there. <laughs> the quarterback. 